I am Reverend Kunle Ayo Akinjole. I'm Reverend Ebenisa Diaolu Mavisi Oji. I'm Buki Biro. I am Adewu Item Tayo Debora. My name is Reverend Mike Adetunji Babatunde. Keep. I would like to encourage you. I encourage you to keep watching Proclaim Jesus TV. It's a station, a TV. I want you to continue to watch. Keep watching and remain blessed. Somebody, are you ready to praise the Lord? Eh? Are you ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! Uh -huh. Okay, say, so, ah. Righteousness be restored. Say, these are the days of the trials. And famine and darkness, everybody are here. We are the voice in the days of the young. Speak a word. We give glory to God for the grace of ministering His words to His people. It is our prayer that Christ, the only worthy object of our worship, is lifted up, his church will be edified, and his people blessed in Jesus' name. This day, what we have to discuss is doing business for the Lord. Doing business for the Lord. And our scripture for this is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the thing that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. No man that warrants entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for manuscripts, yet is not he not crowned except he strive lovely. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Our Lord Jesus Christ stated the business he left for his church in his statement. In Matthew chapter 28, 19 and 20, generally known as the Great Commission, we are mandated to go into the world and be disciples of all nations, and teaching them to obey everything. Christ already taught them from this commission. We realize that making disciples and training or building them up is a mission that must be done. It is a business which involves good understanding and unalloyed commitment to the master or sender or owner of the business. For an ordinary definition, we divide business as purposeful, a meaningful and productive endeavor. However, according to the Oxford Advanced Learner Dictionary, Business is something that concerns a person or organization or important matters that need to be dealt with or discussed. Hence, doing business for the Lord implies attending to things that pertain to the interests of our Lord Jesus Christ. While the Lord in the topic refers to Jesus Christ, the perfect example of discipler. The implications and requirements for doing business for the Lord are captured in various passages of the scripture from the gospel through the acts of the apostle to the epistle and revelations and this business like every business involved investment sacrifices strategies focus discipline etc as his business partners we are expected to do our best to present ourselves to him as approved workmen rightly dividing the word of truth 
according to 2 Timothy 2.15. The Lord Jesus Christ came for the business of undoing the work of Satan in the world. This is written in the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, where he has come to destroy the work of the devil. We are expected to be his hand, legs and mouth in accomplish this mission. We must walk and speak up for God's kingdom advance. In another presentation, Christ came for the business of reconciling a strange humanity to their Lord and Creator, according to 2 Corinthians 5.18. As ambassadors for Christ, we must partner in this business of reconciliation with committed and zeal. If we open our Bible to 2 Corinthians 5.19, it is stated that God reconciled the world to himself in Christ. There will be some costs and investments in doing business for the Lord. So business for the Lord, like any other business, involves investment of resources with cost implications. It entails investment of time. From Christ's example, we have the need to spend time with converts and others to build them up in the faith. Christ invested quality time in training his disciples, according to Luke 8, 1 to 3 and verse 9, apart from time with the crowds. Secondly, investment of financial and other resources in training material are necessary for development of mature Christians. Totally, as we know from the first disciples wrote apostles, we are called, they were called all their professions and vocations. To become devoted and committed to following the master there may be need of for vocational change in some instances or cases fourth sorry may be involved in promoting god's kingdom business like in matthew 10 21 brother will betray brother to death and the father his child and you see in 37 to says it that anyone who loves their father and mother more than me is not worthy of me Fifth, our desire to love our neighbors as ourselves. In Matthew 22, 37 to 7, it is written there. Prompts us to seek to make them come to follow Christ as we follow Him. Also, doing business with, with, with and for the Lord definitely involves severance of some worldly relationships. If they are going to be a hindrance to a committed follower of our Lord, according to Luke 14, 26. Observing and employing the law strategies, the law has the best approach to doing its kingdom work. Studying and employing its strategy will help us in achieving the purpose of our mission and make full proof of our ministries. For the Lord employed the strategy of availability in relationship with his disciples. He spent quality time with them. Like we see in Mark 4, 10 to 20, so must we. Building Christ's church entails committed and continual discipline of members. As requiring purpose-driven acronym says, bring them in, train them up, and send them forth. We must feed God's people with the sound word of God, according to John 21, 15. So must we. We must engage only God's approach, strategies, and standards of engagement, according to 2 Timothy 2, 5. When we do, we shall win the reward of faith to work. We must be committed to mentoring others. My closing remark, distraction may come in various ways, but as serious-minded businessmen, we must avoid all forms of distraction. As well as advice is especially by the flesh, we must be focused on the lost stars so as to please him. We must engage honest strategies and follow the rules of our engagement. We must be prepared to work as the farmer does. And Christ commanded Peter, we must feed his land. This is the business of God that he has committed unto us. We are supposed to go and do the business of God by bringing them in, by teaching them, by reconciling them to the Lord. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Mokoto, Gungwe, Shufiwo. Hallelujah, Mokoti, De, Shufija. Hallelujah, moko to gungwe shufi wo. Hallelujah, moko ti de shufi ja. Du 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 du. Aja kale ya. 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 Aja 
Hallelujah, mo ko to gun we sufiwo. Hallelujah, mo ko ti de sufija. Sese. Hallelujah, mo ko to gun we sufiwo. Hallelujah, mo ko ti de sufija. Du 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 du. Aja Hallelujah. So we ma fi esele ya. Aja Hallelujah. So we ma fi esele ya. Aja Hallelujah. Se woni ko e gbadura. Aja Hallelujah. Proclaim Jesus TV gives you access to daily devotional anywhere, anytime. Visit our Facebook page every morning to be blessed by our inspiring daily devotional. You are lifted, oh Jesus. 